Hello and welcome to the Weekend Assembly. My name is Riley. And my name is Ethan. We've got many things to get through. Our first notice of many is that basketball will be starting up in next term for year 7 and 8. Everybody is here for the school song.
Before I pass you to Mr. Adam for his message. Make sure to go to the Stratford Alton Junior Rugby Facebook page for more information on your rugby needs. Kia ora whanau. Hey, we'll be looking at kindness for the last couple of weeks, but remember, kindness and tikanga are really closely aligned. Let's see what some of our students think around tikanga. For the last few weeks, we've been focusing on kindness. And with kindness, it's also important to think about our school tikanga. We're showing tikanga, we're also showing kindness to people at our school. Um, you show tikanga by opening doors for your elders. Here you go, Sue. We do the karakia in the morning to connect with each other, everyone. Ki runga, ki raro, ki roto, ki wao, rire, rire, o, haumarire. We show tikanga by not sitting on tables. Alice. Alice. Tables are poor. Eating. Um, when you're showing tikanga, don't cut through other people's conversations in the hallway. <laughs> So let's continue to show kindness around the school, but also thinking around when we're doing it, our school tikanga of how we respect and value everyone in our community through manaki tanga. Now we're going to pass you over to the teachers for class honours. Who's been good this week? Right. Hi everybody, I've got the honour of doing this week's class honours. So we're going to start with room nine. We've got Cohen Plough for coming up with great ideas for our class army base. It looks so awesome, Cohen, well done. Room 10, we've got Oscar Howard for showing awesome perseverance with practicing your sight words. You are a star. Room 11, Abigail Lumungus for amazing writing this week. You have written lots of ideas and you have stretched out unknown words. Kapai, Abigail. Room 13, Laura Hinton for settling well into room 13 and school life. Kapai, Laura. Room 14, Maz Bulger, for awesome independent writing. You are so great at writing all the sounds you hear. Room 15, Emily Marshall, you're always so respectful towards others and always offering a helping hand. Kapai, Emily. Room 18, Honor O'Day, for an amazing effort with learning new math strategies. Kapai, Honor. Room 19, Lily Bilal, for an amazing effort with your mass problems yesterday. You took on the challenge and aced it. Room 20, Paige Tehari, for always showing Manaki Tanga to others. I love how you are becoming more self-confident too. Kapai, Paige. Room 5, Isaiah O'Day, for having an amazing start to the term. Isaiah, you are a wonderful friend to many and have been completing your targets like a champ. To Miki Isaiah, Peyton Kolevsky, room six, for completing her work to a high standard and managing her time better each day. Room seven, Anastasia Boston Hart, to honor how you look out for others during playtime and include them. Kapai, for being a kindness leader in our class. Room eight, Jake Thompson, for putting in a massive effort with your tasks this week. Keep up the great work, mate. Room one, Dylan Tunnicliffe, for being the absolute man this week. You have been working so hard to manage your time and do quality mahi. Ka rawi, Dylan. Room two, Malachi Rover, for putting in a great effort with your mahi this week. From art to maths, you're really working hard. Tino pie, dude. Room three, Abella Pickford, wow. You have been doing the mahi and maths this term and it is showing in all the success you are having. Keep it up, Abella. Room four, Zania Zimmerman for creating some amazing graffiti art and creating outstanding writing based on the street artist, Banksy. What are you doing, Enviro? Enviro Ward for doing the extra mahi, coming to school on the weekend and putting mulch on the playground. You have gone above and beyond. Jesse, Heriora, Kapai, Jesse. Awesome, mate. We're going to pass you over to Eddie and Z on the Marlon Coach for more violent information. Before we do that, hockey will be starting in turn four for the year. 
The Maguire one is this way because we're in twenty. Thank you, everyone, for wearing green today. Um, here are some photos of today. It's all good to call me Dr Emily. I'm the Education Officer for the Taranaki Regional Council and for the rest of this term we're going to be doing a really exciting project called a BioBlitz. Hands up, has anyone heard of a BioBlitz before? Oh, only one person. Do you want to have a go at telling us what a BioBlitz is? No, 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 that's all good. I'm good. Right, next slide. Right, so a BioBlitz is a concentrated effort to discover and record as many species within a set location over a limited time period. So when it comes to as many species, that includes all the different types of plants, all the different types of animals and fungi too. When it comes to the set location, this is our set location uh, within the orange rectangle We'll mainly be working within King Edward Park, but also it includes the school grounds as well. So we can add observations there. Yep. And we'll be adding our photographs of all the different species that we take to a website called iNaturalist NZ. So what you do is you upload the photos and experts from around New Zealand help, help us to identify what species we've got. I've set up the, oh, if we go back again, I've set up the project already uh, and it's already got quite a few cool observations. So we've got 74 different species already and 84 different observations, including this little guy. Yeah. So has anyone seen this little guy? Does anyone? Yeah. Do you know what bird it is? It's a fantail. It's a fantail or a peewaka waka. A fantail is usually white. No, no, so it's quite unusual, this little guy. And he'll be feeding on insects, they're insectivores. So he'll be feeding on in insects that are hatching from the Partia River. Yeah. Okay, this stunning specimen 
is a forest shield bug. It's only found in New Zealand, so it's referred to as being endemic. Um, so this is also found in King Edward Park. Yep. Also, this stunning plant is quite a rare plant. This called swamp miry. Um, it's a wetland plant. It likes having wet roots or wet feet. So yeah, it's quite a cool plant to have in there. And then this, these are introduced mushrooms. So that means that uh, they don't naturally occur here. They've been brought over by humans. Um, it's called velvet foot and they're actually commonly used in uh, Japanese cuisine. So Asian food they use quite a lot of, but we will not be eating any mushrooms. Why won't we be eating any of the mushrooms that we find? You know this, yeah. They could be poisonous and we don't want anyone to die, so we won't be eating any of the mushrooms. Yeah, next one. Okay, so have you guys got any ideas why we'd want to do a bioblitz? Why would we want to record all species in a particular area? Any ideas? Yes. Yeah, we can see if we can find new ones that haven't been found there before. That's a good answer. Yeah. So one of the main reasons is, next slide. One of the main reasons is, is if we want to look after an area, it's important that we know what goody native plants and animals we need to protect. So the native animals and plants are those that are meant to be here, the ones that are naturally occur in New Zealand. So we want to protect them and we want to get rid of or remove any of the really nasty pest plants or animals because they act as a threat to the goody natives. So if we know what's there, we can hatch a plan on how better to protect the place. Yep. Okay, so we'll be working in different groups. So there'll be a group that will be working on birds. This photo was actually taken in King Edward Park by a friend of mine. Um, do we know what the bird is? Tui. Tui! Do we know what it's feeding on? Cool. Yellow flowers, uh, corn flowers. Corfi. So this is a corfi, they mainly flower in spring, but some of them are flowering at the moment. Um, so yeah, this Tui is having a great time on those. You can see that orange, the yellow pollen that's on its beak. So we'll get some of you working on birds and we'll show you how to do a bird survey. We'll also consider what the birds are feeding on and if they've got a good supply of food all year round, so the different plants and insects. Yep. Oh, we'll also look at some of the bugs. We'll have some of you working on bugs, including the stick insect that was found in King Edward Park as well. Um, so we'll consider why bugs are so important. There's some pest bugs as well that we might come across. And we'll consider for our goody native bugs, how we can make good habitat for them. So how we can provide them with a safe home. Yep. We might have some of you working on predators, although I think some of you have done some predator work already uh, last year. So what we can use is these tracking tunnels. Um, so we bait the tracking tunnels with peanut butter, our little predator goes through the tracking tunnel, and we can find out what predators are in the area and what traps that we need to use to get rid of the pest animals. And if we've got traps out there already, which there are, we can see if they're working sufficiently enough. Yeah. Okay, also we'll have some of you working on native plants. There are heaps of different species of native plants. So we'll show you how to identify them based on their leaf shape, the leaf arrangement, the different flowers and any fruits that they might have. Uh, with the plants, we'll also consider why they make such good habitat for the wildlife. So we'll con consider how they provide good food and good shelter for our native New Zealand animals. Yeah. We'll also consider the bad pest plants. Pest plants tend to take over and totally smother all the goody natives. So we'll consider how you can identify those pest plants and also we'll look at how we can get rid of them without spreading them further. Yes. Okay, so you might all be working on individual subjects or individual groups of animals or plants within your classes, but because the whole school's doing a bioblitz, you will be able to come together and share your findings and your knowledge so you gain a big picture of what's happening in your local area and you're able to better protect the wildlife.
Mr. Bengals now going to present the ECM Night Honours Bengals. Right, today I'm proudly giving Zita her service with excellence certi certificate. Um, she has achieved this through Kapahaka, Fano Day, uh, Circle Art, and many, many more things. So, Zita Barber, come on down. Good move, Zita. And a big warm white to Pucky Pucky for her. Don't forget, new pause in turn three, so don't forget to register. Now it's time to pass over to Tio for Tio tickets. Make a big nice thing in the street. The one and two winner is Layla 114. <laughs> the three and four winner is Lizzie Worm 18. The year 7 and 8 winner is Katie Winfrey. Thank you for attending today's assembly. Make sure to fill in the survey on the school Facebook page or the app. Have a good weekend.